if my 15 year old self could see me now, um, I, I'm not sure that she'd believe it. I don't give it. There's such a difference between believing you are capable of all these things and then it becoming a reality. You know, I, I know um, so many people and so many friends that are so incredibly talented that never ever get these opportunities. I feel very grateful and, uh, and yeah, if 15 year old Lizzie could see me now it would probably blow her little mind. <laughs> The day that I realized that this is all I wanted to do in life is be in a band um, was actually the, the day that we had our first gig. My little brother and I, you know, we, we had picked up instruments at this point. I was 13, he was 10. We would write these little songs together, you know, and we wrote this one song called Love is Power and we ended ourselves in a talent show. It was at the Schuylkill County Fair. So it was like hay bale tossing, and uh, there was a tap dancing cowgirl, and a, a little girl that sang Tomorrow, the Little Orphan Annie, and, and little brother um, on our way to, to the gig suggests that we don't just go up there as Liz, Lizzie and RJ Hale. He's like, well, we should have a band name. I'm like, well, we're not really a band. He's like, well, we should have a band name though. So, so we came up with a couple things and settled on Hailstorm. So we named our little project Hailstorm. We're like, that'll work for the day. And uh, we go up there, we introduce ourselves, and we play this five minute song that we wrote with a drum solo in the middle of it. And um, I had like this, this Moog synthesizer sound on a keyboard. And I just remember we were so nervous. We were like shaking, but we did it anyway. And then when we came off stage, it was like this light bulb turned on. And I turned to little brother and like, do you want to do this again? Like, like I think, I, I think we're supposed to be here. I think we're supposed to do this. And so I remember specifically being at the dinner table that night, and I'm coming up with all these plans, and I'm telling my mom and dad, I'm like, this is what I want to do. I like, I think we could actually like be rock stars. We could totally do this. And little bro. It, we're, we're eating uh, the chicken and mashed potatoes and he had like a mouthful of mashed potatoes and he looks at me he's like, sis, I still get to play drums with you, with you though, right? And I'm like, yeah man, we're a band. And so it, literally 22 years later, we're still doing the same thing. <laughs> When I was a kid and we'd be doing gigs and I'd be carrying in my, my equipment and somebody would be like, oh, that's the girlfriend that's dragging in her boyfriend's equipment or, or hey, the merch table is over there. Or when we were trying to shop for labels and they would look at me and be like, you're talented, but we don't know what to do with you, you know? And, uh, or were you trying to get something on the radio? And, and they're like, well, we already have a girl on the radio so we don't need another one like like I'm um, just a you know a token every time that one of those things happened I would turn it around so if nobody was expecting me to be on stage I started from the audience I would have my microphone on and a hood and nobody knew where the sound was coming from but then I walked up and they're like oh it's a girl and she is in the band when the labels said you know, I, I, we don't know what to do with you. Um, I'm like, well, that's ridiculous. I'm gonna do it anyway. And when, you know, nobody would play my songs on the radio because I was a girl, I'm like, well, I'm just gonna tour my ass off. And you are gonna be so sick of seeing my face that you're gonna have to play me on the radio someday. So you use those things as your superpower and it drives me through. You're a freak, you're a freak.